Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this articulated shark uploaded by McGuybeer. First things first, we're going to go to the developer notes and see if they have any specifications. And they do say that uh, we do not need supports, just slice and print. So that keeps it really nice and easy for us. They also recommend a layer height of 0.16 millimeters. So we'll definitely keep that in mind when slicing. Now there's four different STLs. There's STL A which is the original shark with a movable jaw. There's version B, which is the same thing as version A, except it has a friendlier face, so it's not as scary. And version C is the same thing as version A, except you cannot open its mouth. And version D is the same thing as version B, except you cannot open its mouth as well. So once you're satisfied with all that, go up here to this blue download all files and click on it. And once you do, you're gonna be given the forest deals we were talking about. Now for this video, I'm going to download and print uh, version A. So I'm going to click and hold on this and drag it into my slicer. We're going to give it a few seconds to render up. Once the model's finished loading in, you can hold right click and move your mouse around to take a look around the model, Just see all the details and whatnot. And once you're satisfied with that, our first and final step will be to select a layer height. Now the designer recommends a layer height of 0.16 millimeters, but if you have a higher end printer and you know for a fact it can print very tight tolerances without fusing parts together, then you can actually save three hours and print with a 0.2 millimeter layer height. But for most beginners, I still strongly recommend that you stick with the 0.16 millimeter layer height just to be on the safe side. So we're going to select the layer height that you want. I said the recommendation is 0.16 millimeters. And um, if this page pops up, you're gonna hit discard. This is gonna erase all previous settings that you may have had on the printing slicer. Now, as the developer said, no need to change infill, no need to ask supports, no need for bed adhesion, etc. So all we have to do now is click on this blue button here and give it a few seconds to slice. Once the software has finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly six hours and 15 minutes but that will depend on the printer you are using and the settings you used, as well as a estimated filament usage of 25 grams. We always preview the print, see if anything is weird or anything funky is going on. And taking a look around the model, everything looks perfect. So last step is to save the file and send it over to your printer. Here's the model straight off the print bed. Do not be scared if the mouth does not open or if the tail does not spin, as that is completely normal. We're going to alleviate that in the next few steps. In order to post process the model, you're going to have to hold the jaw with both your hands and pry it open. It might take a little bit of force, but eventually you should be able to snap it open without breaking anything. Afterwards, twist the tail as it should be able to rotate 360 degrees freely. Finally, give the entire shark a few twists and turns and make sure that each joint is able to move freely. The model came out perfectly with no visual defects and everything moves as intended. I do suggest you be careful when playing with a model because there's quite a bit of sharp corners, so be careful where you stick your fingers.